Justin Germino here. I'm going to be showing you how WP Product Review will allow you to add reviews to your WordPress posts, you know, if you review products. So this is an overview of how to use the plugin and how to configure it. Again, I have the WP Product Review Pro plugin, although you get a lot of features with the light and free version. The Pro version gives you extra templates. So when you finish writing the review, or before the review, go to the Product Review Extra Settings at the bottom of the editor. Then all you need to do is click from No to Yes, Is This a Review Post? Once you click Yes, all the review options open up. The first thing I like to do is go find the actual product I'm reviewing on Amazon, grab the ASIN at the top, which is in the URL bar, and then paste that in there. You can click import and it'll import the product information from Amazon and help fill out the product name, automatically grab a product image. Um, you already have by default open affiliate link in any of your previous reviews. You'll have the links there by default as well as the product options. So you'll need to overwrite those. So the first thing you want to do is probably rename the product to be the proper product name. A lot of brands will overstuff too many keywords into their product name on Amazon. So you want to kind of narrow it down, make it clear and concise for the product name itself. In this case, this is the Raitaki R6 MMO Gaming Mouse. And you can see the image looks fine over there. I have to build my affiliate link. I do use pro URLs myself, but you can pretty much use any program to build an affiliate link, either build it manually with affiliate Amazon or use Bitly to shrink the link or whatever. Again, I prefer for pro URLs, it's free, and it allows me to generate Amazon links and internationalize the, those links so that they work with any, any Amazon store. Let me put in the proper link here. You notice that it also imported the product price automatically as well, so that's a really nice feature of this plugin. So again, I, my previous review was actually a headset, so you see the product options were defaulted for my previous review. Now if you want and you review a similar product, you could click preload info and then select a previous product that you want to load the same product options for. That way you're reviewing against the same criteria. So if I was reviewing another headset, I would import the other headset's product options. That way they're exactly the same criteria matching, so there's even comparison. But because this is a mouse, and this is my first mouse with this new plugin, I've got to create all new product options and figure out things that I want to rate it on as far as, you know, what kind of quality. So it's the mouse, right? So customizable buttons would be one of my product options. Uh, I'll put configurable buttons. And okay. again, you got your rating score of, you know, I'd say honestly, this is a 95. Again, in this review plugin, it averages a 1 to 10 rating. So 95 is really a 9.5 in that section. Comfort's about an 85. It could use a little bit more yeah. mm -hmm. on the pinky side instead of let my pinky drag on the uh, mouse pad a little bit. Um, uh, pro features, this one has customizable weights. And you add. I have default three pro yeah. features and three con features on my setting, but you can configure it to have a default of five in five if you want, or whatever you prefer. So I'll go ahead and enter a third option here. So customizable weights, custom buttons and macro settings, and then five deep profiles, and then cons. The only con I found with this mouse is the cord itself. and possibly that it could take some training to use these thumb buttons. There are 12 thumb buttons. It took a lot of training on my thumb to get used to using them. There, so you basically fill out your pros and your cons and you're pretty much done with your review. Save your draft and preview it and then you can actually see how the box looks. Choose a different template out of the three templates. Now if you use the free version of the plugin, there's only one template, but this version I have three templates. Okay, now let's click on the preview post and show you how the box looks. <coughs> Alright, this is what the review box looks like. You can see it aggregated all the options that I chose to make it an average 9 rating. You got the image there, the pros, the cons, the price, and then confirm that the button works and goes and has my affiliate tag. And there you go. Oh, you can also click on a plus and have a second store, like if you want to list it on Walmart or Newegg or another store as well.